Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie is still here. So, as I turn it on, it says a story inspired by true events. So, I'm excited about that. 5.3 on IMDb, hour and 37 minutes long. It's about a New York journalist who is giving the assignment about a missing girl um, from Brooklyn, 12 year old, and uh, he gets so involved in it that he starts to take matters into his own hands. So, kind of interesting. So, I'm excited. Hopefully, it's pretty good. 5.3 is not the greatest rating of all time. I didn't recognize any of the actors, um, but only 402 people have rated it so far, so um, I don't know. I'm scrolling through it. I don't see anybody, but let me get into it here, find out what it's really about, see if there's any actors that I know in it, um, and then ultimately let you know what I think, so stick around. I'll be back. Hey everybody, I want to do a quick check in. We're watching Still Here. We're at the 44 minute 46 second mark. Um, and it's really good. I don't know why the ratings are low. I mean, maybe it's going to get bad here. I don't know how it's going to end, which is probably going to affect uh, how we feel about the film. But let me catch you up real quick. So, it, it kind of what they said there's a black family in, the, in Brooklyn whose child goes missing. Um, for about eight days, um, and that's when this reporter finds out about it. So this reporter, who works for the Chronicle, um, his boss assigns him this and says, you know, basically, what has happened, and he proves this to be true, is like the cops put no effort into finding the girl. They came, they searched the building, and then they closed the case. You know, so it, you know it was really poorly handled, obviously. So he, um, you know, it, it's interesting to gauge on you know what his um, intentions are you know his intentions initially are to write a story and and because he's a writer but you also get the sense that maybe he does care a little bit and you know that's the sense I get anyway um, so he finds some facts um, you know and, and his idea is to publish them in the paper although it's not the full story or anything like that but it's showing that maybe the cops didn't put enough effort in so it will apply pressure on the cops to reopen the investigation and start looking for this little girl. Um, and so that's the whole intention. And then what happens kind of happens, which I don't want to spoil it for you, but you can see. So now um, this um, reporter is, is becoming more involved. I think now he definitely cares and is very interested in helping this family find their daughter in somehow, in some way. Real quick, it was, his name is Johnny Whitworth. Um, I know I'm going to date myself on this one, but I saw him come up and I'm like, who is it? Who is, you know, I've seen his face. He's got a, he looks like Jim Carrey in this movie, so that's not going to help, but he's got the helmet hair and he's got a big beard on. Um, and I was like, I, I recognize him and I had to look back, but he's AJ from Empire Records. So if you ever saw Empire Records, if not, check it out. I know it's a late 90s film, like I said, dating myself, but he's our main actor in this. He's the only guy I recognized, um, but he's the the reporter uh, trying to help. So I'm heavily invested in this. It's, it's very interesting. It's, you know, having daughters um, and having one of them go missing. She's 12 years old. I have a 12-year-old daughter. Would, oh, you know what I mean? I, I, I couldn't imagine it and what they're going through and the fact that nobody's going to help them kind of thing. Um, and I'll leave you with this fact that they say in the beginning of the film that I didn't realize. Maybe I did, but I never sat and thought about it more. They say 500,000, a half a million children go missing in the United States a year. It's like, wow, okay, break that down. That means when you break it down by 365 days, that's like 1.3 thousand, 1,300 and 60, something like that, children go missing every day. 1,300 kids go missing every day. And, I mean, then you divide it by the total number of hours, which I had to do on a calculator, and it's like 57 kids a, an hour go missing in the United States. That, that is astonishing to me. I can't believe that. Um, you know, so... I, I, you know, I'm sure everybody's like, yeah, duh, we know all that. And I've heard, like, you know, how many, like, a person gets murdered, like, every three minutes or something like that, whatever. But when you think about these kids going missing, 57 kids missing. So by the time I get done watching this movie, 57 kids have gone missing. Unbelievable. Anyway, so 
interesting. So I, I'm interested. I'm surprised the scores are real low. We'll see what happens with the rest of this um, and, and see where it goes. Hopefully, uh, you know, it's an, it's an ending I like. Uh, um, but I won't tell you either way. You'll have to watch it yourself. But I'll get back to it, and hopefully it continues to be as interesting as it is. And uh, I'll see you at the credits and try and give you enough information to let you know if it's worth watching. But I won't spoil it. So stick around. I mean, you tell me if this is... Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Still Here, and I tell you what, didn't disappoint. The second half of the movie was just as good as the first part. Um, it's an emotional roller coaster, and it's based on a true story. I, I don't know how good it would be if it wasn't based on a true story. I don't know. I love stories based on a true story. Um, so where it does fall short for me, for those of you who may maybe seen um, a review from me before, there's a couple of things I like based on true stories, and one of those things is the... Um, post credits or the you know pre credits I guess it is blurbs about what has happened since the film you know what happens to everybody else so that's not in here I also enjoy a little pictures of the actual people um, you know or video or things like that I, you know and, and it makes it a little bit more relatable those two things are missing from this film so that knocks it down a little bit in my book um, but that's just me that's something I like and I look forward to but other than that um, I think it, it's good. It's a good, uh, like I said, it's a roller coaster. I liked everybody. I tell you what, the um, the one police officer, the one detective, the Irish uh, um, detective, I believe he was Irish. I at first wasn't crazy about his character. wasn't crazy about his acting um, either. Um, I think that's a one flaw. But in the end. It gets a little bit better. Not so much the acting, but the character, I guess. Um, so, you know. But, uh, you know, I, the father did a phenomenal job, uh, whoever the actor was. And I liked um, Jonathan, um, what was his name? Uh, Whitworth. I thought he did great. And uh, I, Morris Mc, McRae was the father, I believe. Um, yes. Yeah. So he did a great job. Um, and that's really, you know, they're, they're the bulk of the acting in it. Everybody else is, has, and the, and the, um, the two cops as well. Um, but really good. I liked it a lot. I think it's a nice, I think it's a good sleeper movie. So I didn't know how this ended up on my list, especially when I seen there's no actors I knew who were in it. Must have read it somewhere and decided to plop it in. And it's worth it. So, you know. Again, you have to be prepared for emotions in this one, um, but uh, definitely worth it, I think. A little hidden gem for you, so check it out. I can't give you any more. I think I've given you enough in the first check-in to, to wet your whistle, if you will. Um, so if you like what I said in the beginning, you'll enjoy this film if you like these types of films. So that's all I got for you. Can't do any more. If you do check it out, love to hear your thoughts. Drop me some comments. What do you think? Pretty good. Try not to spoil it for other people. Um, and I mean, maybe you already know. It's probably a publicly known type thing, but I'm not. I'm not spilling. Um, but uh, there you go. So check it out. I think it's worth it. I'm probably a seven. It'd be an eight if they would have done those two extra things. Maybe I'm all the way up to a seven on this one because I'm pleasantly surprised. And I think sometimes too, my ratings are based on. You know, expectations going in when it was like five something, and then when you come out of it. So you go on low expectations and they exceed them. I think that kind of inflates my score a little bit, but that's okay. All right, enough babbling for me. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Um, tell all your friends and family, subscribe to my channel. Continue um, to come back and enjoy these fabulous movie reviews. All right, thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.